Hey, what's happening, YouTube? That's us heading back to the Kitchen King's Garden. Oh, that's it. I nearly made a mistake the last time. Keep your pine manches on. And make sure you still get some of them left. You need them. We're going to get a few things in here. One, namely, is an Esther shard. Wait, I want that on first. A few soul packets. And a ring. The only problem is the ring is hidden behind two knights. Well, it's not really a problem when you're overpowered. Power runs it. Which you should be if you've been following this guide. You're more an overpowered saucer when you're using these because it makes a, a, a hell of a lot easier. This is your rest of shot. New game plus two, the Sage Ring plus two is sitting right there. Top of these stairs. And if you're quick enough, you can get this next mana plus before your hidden body runs out. That's basically the Consume King's Garden done. There's not a lot to this place. I've got one more mana plus to take care of and then all that stuff underneath there, but you can just run in and grab that. It's, yeah, the nights are the worst. Mm. Really, you little twat. There. Pretend that he's sleeping. Stuff. I'm not going to bother killing all these things down. That's been dropped off the mana pass. I've just got to run in and grab everything and then get the hell out of dodge. Same deal as last time, don't worry about the toxic. It's not Dark Souls 1 level of toxic. But that's what's gonna be dead by now. Now use it. We're gonna go and get the dragon scale ring first. Before we get back to the bonfire and rest. When you come this way, always come that way and kill this little shit first. Because those Lothary knights that were using the great swords are hard enough before I'm continually buffing them and healing them over and over again. This one drops a ring. Oh shit. The ring drops automatically, you don't need to go and pick it up. As I remember, yeah, there you go. And then we're heading upwards and almost back to the dancer's bonfire. That's um 
park with he helps you with the fight if you want to help but he's not that hard you don't need your party man selling on you need your stamina ring on and there's that cost bite ring we got that one there but on that you're good to go Oh, pine resin, where are you, where are you? I called up lightning pine resin before I took a break. This bit here, don't stop, run. You can imagine fighting those two knights with that twat buffing them and healing them every two seconds. Might not be as much as every two seconds, but it's every it's less than a minute. You'll buff them over and over and over again. And that, my friends. Is a consumed king's garden, which is a bit strange considering the war implications of Osiris. It's such a small area. Right, here we go. Back to the bonfire. Quick top up. what you want to do actually. Go back to the shrine. I didn't do it while I wasn't recording. You got a tank in this lab. I'm going to upgrade your sword to your max. You're basically just going to do it to the side of your boss fight and you start wailing on him. You go ping resin on. I'm trying to think if it's the best ring to put on. The Lloyd Saw ring's alright, but you need full health. Put on the Pontus right eye. Or left eye, which, whichever one it is. In place of the Lloyd Saw ring. But keep the cuspite ring on. Point of right eye. Because you're constantly going, you'll be constantly doing R1, 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 occasional R2. You've got to do like every other big boss in Dark Souls, you got underneath him and start smacking his ass. Just run. Sometimes this one catches you. hidden body to get by that knight that was on the stairs that dropped the ring because the boss falls right behind him but again come this way and this twat buffs him straight away a quick buff.
Nie wy go. This is also where you pick up the emote to get to Arch Dragon Peak for the Nameless King. But I'm not ready for him yet. Got to skip by the cliffs and you can watch it on your own if you want. I'm sick of seeing it. Just run straight towards it, son of a bitch. You don't want to stay as close to as you possibly can and watch that tail swipe. Same as always, get your mimic head on for maximum soul gain. And this isn't finished yet, we need to get down and get the next bonfire for the intended graves. And this is your first sight of the manservants that are in our dragon peak and they're a pain in the ass. There's one waiting on us around the corner. That little shit there. Yeah, they hurt. That should have mullet for Arch Dragon Peak. I just shove it on the first one. Some scales. Osiris's um, soul bag the Moonlight Greatsword and or Dragon's Breath, White Dragon Breath, Seath's freaking magic attack. Obviously one all sorcery challenge you need to buy the White Dragon Breath. I'm not finished with this episode just yet because I always, before I finish, We're going to kill the Corvians first. You don't tend to go that way. It's back at the same area where you just where you first spawned when you first started the game. Obviously, they're telling the story a bit of the unkindled one. No, it's not obvious, but that's my interpretation. Of it. They're standing right above your grave. Not much here. That'll be fine. We definitely need some more stamina. That's for definite. Run forward and grab that, so... And then, put your ass back to the bonfire quickly. You can see it just walking in the distance, Grave Warden. Right, so, that's this episode done. Next episode, we're going to fight Jumping Gunder and going to Dark Fire Link Shrine. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you're finding the game easy now. Like, subscribe, all that good shit. Laters.